President Hollande said in the aftermath of the arrest of Salah Abdeslam that it was much bigger than originally thought, and again, increasing the pressure on the authorities, both there and there. Uh, Hugh, in Paris, are you still there? Yes, I am, yeah. The um, imminent extradition of uh, Salih Abdeslam, who was uh, arrested in Brussels last week to Paris, mm. um, I would imagine there's quite a lot of expectation there about uh, what he might be able to tell them about uh, last November's Paris attacks. Well, of course, I mean, he's an absolute catch, and um, you know, the arrival um, is eagerly awaited. Um, obviously, the families and so on are. moment, though I suspect it will be many months, if not years, um, uh, ahead of us. Um, but in the meantime, of course, investigators want to, want to get on to him so that they can, you know, really find out what happened in the run-up to um, Paris, to Brussels, if there are others in this wider group uh, who are ready to act. Because I think that, you know, that's one of the factors in the arrest today and uh, the, of the night overnight. I mean, maybe, I have a feeling that they, this, this French character, Reda Cricket, who was arrested yesterday, I, I have a feeling they had him in their sights a long time, but I think what they're worried about is that the acceleration of events in Brussels um, might precipitate action from groups that are sort of on, you know, preparing things in a more gradual way. Uh, I think that the French are, are afraid that um, there's an atmosphere that has taken hold now and, and uh, that groups that aren't really prepared might now jump into action, and that's why they, they've moved in and stopped this man. Hugh, many thanks. That was our correspondent, Hugh Schofield, in Paris. We also heard from the BBC's Lucy Williamson in Brussels.